The Fixer for Jose Destiny Calls. I was waiting for someone to request this one. Thanks, Jose. Or Destiny. Or Calls. <laughs> Probably Jose. Alright, this one actually, this one's pretty simple. And fun. And good for your health. B power chord. That's the second fret of the A string. Power chord. So, 2, 4, 4 from A to G. All the way up to D. Grandma always brings crappy devil. That's the fifth fret of the A string. Then, you make a D shape on the seventh and eighth frets. Strum it. Suspended for it. That means put your pinky finger on the baby E string in the eighth fret. And take it off. You hear that. Down to the fourth and fifth frets. Henceforth referred to as. Okay, verse, it's got Stone Gossard all written all over it, although I know Matt Cameron wrote this song, and somebody please point us to the Matt Cameron version somewhere on YouTube of whatever song it was before it was the fixer, because it was it's neat to see. We're gonna do two two-fingered power chords now, starting with G. Watch the watch the plucking. So that means we're only playing E string third fret and A string fifth fret. So we go. Low high, low high, low, and then one more low. And then down to low E, so that's open E string, A string second fret. That's a power chord, because look, if, you know, this is F, right? Imagine. If you go one more down, it's E and you don't need your pointer finger anymore, so you can use it for this. All right, I'm completely lost now. So on the E, you just go booty boom. Then you go up to D, which is the aforementioned A string fifth fret. Low high, low high, here's the fun part. Go down like you're gonna do a B, that's the second fret of the A string, but take your pointer finger off, leave your ring finger, pluck the A string and hammer on, and then pluck the D string. And then do the opposite on the A string. Pluck it and then take it off. The interesting thing about this song is it's in 6-4, not 6-8, it's not a waltz. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And hence the weirdo uh, plucking patterns because we need one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, I can't count now. Not even close. But you get the idea. It's in six, four. Fun fact, you don't have to know that if you know how it goes. The chorus is the exact same as the verse, but in chords. E minor, D, none of the guitars go down to B minor, but Jeff Amen does, so you can do it if you want. Do we all know B minor? Two, A string, four, four, three, fight to get it back again! If you wish. Also note that this is the only song that Pearl Jam uh, plays tune to half step down because it's awfully hard to sing in the original key. Must have taken a lot of tries. Ouch. So now we got the verse, we got the intro. And the verse. It's so fun. And the chorus. And 
the only thing left is the bridge. I'm reminded of uh, <laughs> when I worked at a, this other studio that's not that wasn't mine yet, and um, we had a game we played. We made a whole parody video of this song. It was called The Biker. Um, it was about a guy whose truck was broke, so he had to bike to get to work again. And uh, Anyways, we had this game that we played called Pearl Jam Cover Band. And you'd say, all right, Pearl Jam Cover Band uh, comprised only of people who drank too much the previous night, Pearl Jam, and so on and so forth. So there's a neat, neat new game for us to play. <clears throat> Pearl Jam Cover Band comprised of big paintings, Mural Jam. Bridge, C, E flat, major. It's the dreaded A string bar chord major shape, which is A string sixth fret, and then D, G, B, eighth fret, like in comeback, right? But if you don't want to do that, play the power chord. Works just as well. That was really fun. Bring on the requests. We're going to do every song ever written. Goodbye.